Hello, welcome to the Monday, September 30th, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. A reminder for users of Polycom devices, your configuration files are still very much looked for by attackers scanning the internet for them. Xavier ran into another scan for them and posted some of the URLs requested. The IP that Xavier was observing in his logs has been doing this for quite a while now. And according to some of our other honeypot logs that we are collecting, and it's hosted in a cloud service provider in Iceland. And Apple finally released the security details for the various updates it released these last two weeks. When they came out, I noted that there was an entry in the Apple security bulletin page, but no actual link yet with any details. One interesting fix in iOS uh, should make it more difficult to fool Face ID with 3D models. One of the advertised features of Face ID was its ability to distinguish images and 3D models from actual faces. Of course, there have been some proof of concept exploits where people managed to create 3D masks that actually allowed them to lock themselves in uh, to iOS devices the security advisory does not provide details as to what exactly was changed. The iOS updates also appear to fix the recently revealed lock screen bypass. The fix is listed as part of iOS 13, even though the vulnerability was still present in the last iOS 13 beta, which is widely believed to be identical to the finally released product. So in iOS 13.1, there is a similar security advisor, a similar note for this particular flaw, possibly that it wasn't fully fixed until iOS 13.1. Safari for iOS also fixes an address bar spoofing issue. The standalone Safari 13 patch for macOS does address a cross-site scripting issue. Now, we also got security update 2019 005 last week for macOS and this one fixes only a single vulnerability that may be used for arbitrary code execution. Apple is expected to release macOS 10.15, the next major release, also known as Catalina, sometime this week and next week. Some observers noted that this may be an indication that this particular vulnerability has already been exploited in the wild. Apple credits Google's project Zero with advising them of this vulnerability. Of course, Google also recently came out with this big news article about some exploits against iOS that they have seen. So not really clear what's going on here. Apple's security announcements are always very brief. So no real detail as to whether or not these vulnerabilities are already exploited. And of course, in addition to the sort of pre-announced uh, releases for iOS, iOS 13 and 13.1, we also got yet another release on Friday existing just one vulnerability, which again may point to this vulnerability being actively exploited. Now, last week also a new jailbreak was released for older iPhones. The author of the jailbreak considers it unpatchable. It's working on iPhones and iPads that are running iOS and are using a CPU prior to the A12 processor that was released last year. So this pretty much puts all iPhones prior to the iPhone XR. So this includes the iPhone X. Uh, these iPhones are at risk. If your iPhone was released last year, and of course this year, then it should be okay. And given that this is linked to the hardware, that's probably why they didn't expect any patches. 
That's obviously a little bit tricky to assess these jailbreak exploits. Of course, uh, some people love them because it allows them to actually install some unapproved software uh, that you don't find in the App Store. But that's really just a problem here that uh, these jailbreak exploits do essentially allow someone to backdoor your iPhone. Exploitation, however, does require physical access to the device and to retrieve any content from the device, you still need the passcode or passphrase. So if you're worried about these kind of exploits, least you should do is add a strong passphrase to your iOS device. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.